I want you to see this Excel spreadsheet that I've created. It may be the most important investment advice that you get in your lifetime. No, this is investment education. Look at this chart. I created, it's an Excel spreadsheet. I created an Excel spreadsheet that says, shows if you started investing in a Roth IRA at age 22, 28, 38, or 55, and you got the following return, 7%, which is what the Dow gives, 13%, which is what the S&P gives, and 20%, which is what the NASDAQ 100 gives. If you invest it like that at these ages, if you're 22, at 7%, you're going to have $2 million. $129,000, and if it's in a Roth IRA, it's going to be tax-free. If you, on the other hand, are a more aggressive investor and invest in the S&P 500, then you're going to have $16,500,000. And if you're real aggressive like me, you're going to have $3 billion in your Roth IRA, all tax-free. Now, if that isn't the most important advice that you have ever heard relative to investing, you need to leave now. I'm a long-term investor. I'm a retired financial advisor. Those plaques on the wall there are a CFP, a CHFC, and a CLU. They represent six years of education in the field of investing and financial planning. I know how to invest. I invest based upon not what hap is happening in the stock market today. I invest based on what's going to happen next year. The reality is that inflation, interest rates, and the, uh, unemployment have little or nothing to do with your future because they are temporary events and they will pass. So let's don't worry about them. Let's let the market do what it does. And what is the market? Mar the market is shares in some of the best companies in the world. You are buying into the knowledge, the experience, and the brilliance of some of the smartest people in the world when you buy the right companies. So if you know what your money will do for you based on your age and the rate of return that you have, all you need to know is what are the best companies to invest in. And that's what this channel is all about. It's a channel of a group of people right now, about 15,000 of us that participate in our Patreon, who get together, share our knowledge, share our experience, share our research. We even buy some research to bring in to supplement our ideas. And we're going after this. So if this is something you want to go after, if you want to participate in the biggest change in the history of this world, we are going to have more change in the next five to 10 years than we have in the preceding 100 years. Stick with me and I'll tell you how to become a multimillionaire. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. So it's apparent what's important is picking the right stocks. So how do you pick the right stocks? The stocks are driven by events. When something new happens, something that is going to revolutionize the world, you pick the stocks that's going to make that happen. How, when is the last time that happened? That was the digital revolution. It was back in the late 1980s and the early 1990s as Bill Gates and Steve Jobs brought us the internet and then uh, Jeff Bezos brought us uh, online buying uh, e-commerce, and then Mark Zuckerberg brought, brought us the the, um, the the social media, and then the chip maker stepped in to speed this whole thing up, and that's where you should have bought the for the the stocks. Let me show you another Excel spreadsheet that I created just for you. Look at it here. This is a Excel spreadsheet that shows you. If you had invested $10,000 in Apple at its IPO, $10,000 in Microsoft at its IPO, 
at Amazon, $10,000 at its IPO. NVIDIA, the same. Google, and then Facebook. If you had done that, in and over this period of time, you would have, and including the down market we're in right now, you'd have $14 million in Apple. That's with a $10,000 investment. You'd have $26 million in Microsoft. You'd have $4 million in Amazon. You'd have $1.8 million in NVIDIA. You'd have $117,000 in Google. And you'd have $41,800 in Facebook for a total of $43,371,752. So, that's all you have to do is pick the right stocks. Well, how do you pick the right stocks? You look at events. What created these stocks? The digital revolution. Is the digital revolution coming again? Yeah, it is. It's 3.0. It's driven by artificial intelligence. It's going to change all this. It's going to give us new opportunities. And what about the most important event in your life, in my life? Hell, I'm 77 and three quarter years old. What's the most important event in my life that's going to change the world more than anything else that has ever happened in our lifetime. It's the coronavirus. Well, hell yes, it's the coronavirus. It brought the economies of the world to its knees. That's never happened before. World War II didn't do that. World War I didn't do that. The Vietnam War didn't do that. What has done it? Nothing. So if that's the most important event and people don't ever want it to happen again, why don't you invest? in making sure that it never happens again. Well, hell, Carrie, what is it you would invest in to make sure that never happens again? Biotech. Come on. It's how, how did we get that vaccine in six months? How long did it take to get a vaccine for polio? 12 years. Six months. What's changed? We've got computers. We didn't have them then. We have artificial intelligence. We didn't have it then. What is going to change in our world? Have you read anything about genome sequencing and genome editing? How, how the, the science of genome sequencing went in and looked at that virus and found out how, where its vulnerable points were, and then through CRISPR went in and developed the vaccine to, to wipe it out. Well, that's the same thing they're working on for cancer, heart disease, Parkinson's, and every other disease, mutation that is in our body that could kill us then why aren't you investing in those? Well, nobody's telling me, Carrie. There's none of the talking heads are telling me that. Well, I'm telling you that, and I'm, I think I'm a talking head. So that's where I invest. I don't worry about interest rates. I can't do anything about interest rates. I can't do anything about being raped by ExxonMobil and, and BP and gas prices just because they lost money back when I wasn't driving. Well, why would they do that? How do they get away with that? It's money. Follow the money. Well, the money is going to go towards saving your life, and that is from the next pandemic, or cancer, heart disease, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's. So that's the Apple, the Microsoft, the Google, the Amazon, the NVIDIA, the Facebook of 1998. So why don't I invest in that? Well, as a matter of fact, I have. In fact, I've been invested in it for the last two years. Is it two years or 18 months? But nonetheless, and I've lost money on it. The same is if you look at this chart that I'm showing you, that you would have lost money in every one of these stocks in 2020 and, and then again in 2028. You would have lost money because the market was reacting to temporary events. 
the overfunding and the overexuberance of the dot-com bubble, the stupidity of the banks in giving interest rates down, or not interest rates, but making loans available to people that we created a subprime crisis, which is also known as the real estate crisis. They create these temporary situations, not the companies who are creating the change in the world that makes your life better. Did Google make your life better? Did Apple make your life better? Did uh, Microsoft make your life better? Hell yes, it did. So all you got to do is look for the next company, the next wave that's going to make your life better. And it's obvious. It's obvious. So what do I do about it? I buy into biotech. I ask my community, my tribe, my 15,000 people, you do some research for me. I'll do some research for you. We'll buy research from other people and we'll find the biotech companies that are going to change the way we live. Then we said, wait, there's also a change in the fact that there's a, a, our supply chain is broken. How's that going to change the world, Carrie? We're going to stop buying stuff from China. That's how it's going to stop. And how are we going to do that, Carrie? We're going to invent, go into 3D printing and robotics and pray, replace high-cost labor. And then we're going to go down to Colombia and Mexico and replace China with some people who are in our continent and people who we can trust who aren't trying to steal our technology. That's where I want to invest. Do I believe that's happening? Oh, I certainly do. We, Because of globalization, because of China becoming the second power of the world, because of them shipping all the stuff to us, we have a big problem. We, first of all, they control the semiconductors. They can, hell, they even make all the Apple phones. They even make my running shoes. That's got to change. That can you 3D print a a running shoe? Hell yes, you can. And you don't even need to put it in 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 Nike's warehouse. Just put it in Amazon's warehouse, and they'll ship them directly to me. They'll print them on demand, much as they print my book on demand. So it's all there. All you've got to do is connect the dots. And if you're not good at connecting the dots. Maybe you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll take you to new and exciting places. See you again tomorrow.